Uh, the Apostle Paul, uh, one could say, is probably one of the most motivated apostles that there was. Why is this? How motivated was he? Uh, these questions are answered in our text for today, uh, taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, which is titled, Paul Surrenders His Rights. Paul writes, Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are not you my workmanship in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, at least I am to you. For you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. Well, this is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to eat and drink? Do we not have the right to take along a believing wife, as do the other apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living? Who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard without eating any of its fruit? Or who tends a flock without getting some of the milk? Do I say these things on human authority? Does not the law say the same? For it is written in the law of Moses, you shall not muzzle an ox when it treads out the grain. Is it for oxen that God is concerned? Does he not certainly speak for our sake? It was written for our sake because the plowman should not plow in hope and the thresher thresh in hope of sharing in the crop. If we have sown spiritual things among you, is it too much if we reap material things from you? If others share this rightful claim on you, do not we even more? Uh, nevertheless, we have not made use of this right but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that those who are employed in the temple service get their food from the temple and those who serve at the altar share in the sacrificial offerings? In the same way, the Lord commanded that those who proclaim the gospel should get their living by the gospel. But I have made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing these things to secure any such provision. For I would rather die than have anyone deprive me of my ground for boasting. For if I preach the gospel, that gives me no ground for boasting. For necessity is laid upon me. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am still entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my reward? That in my preaching I may present the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, not being outside the law of God, but under the law of Christ." that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, 
but only one receives the prize. So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things, but they do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly, I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. Uh, so far, the text. Uh, Paul explains that since he is preaching the gospel, that he has the God-given right to be supported by the people whom he is preaching to. Yet, Paul surrenders this right. In other words, he is willing to work to support himself. Why? We see in verse number 18 that he explains so that he may present the gospel free of charge. Why did he do this? For what reason? So that no one could say that Paul benefited financially from his preaching. But we don't know what kind of people Paul was ministering to. We all know that uh, some people have a tendency to complain about many, many things. But Paul, since his love for them was so strong, he didn't want to place anything as an obstacle. He wanted to make sure that when he was preaching to them about the gospel, about the kingdom of God, about the fact that Jesus died on the cross so that we could be forgiven when we turn to him in faith and ask for forgiveness and try our best to do better. This is how we receive eternal life through the forgiveness of sins. And Paul wants to preach this good news to everyone, everywhere, to whomever he can. But people are only going to listen to him if they trust him, if they know that he is doing this for them and them alone. Uh, therefore, Paul uh, takes away the fact that others would say that he was getting money financially for preaching the gospel. Maybe that was why Paul was doing this. Maybe that's why Paul was an apostle in the first place. These statements are obviously ridiculous. Well, Paul is preaching the gospel so that he could save some people with the good news. And if there was anything at all that would, that would cause someone to not trust in Paul or not take his word as the truth, then Paul would make sure that in his life he would be a good example to what God has done. Therefore, Paul is willing to give up everything so that some people would be saved. Could you imagine what this world would be like if more Christians had his attitude? May the good Lord who provides us with all things help us to use these things so that the good news will be preached to others. Amen.